Hi, welcome to Joe's Metal Detected Adventures. Here we are today, searching for history in North Yorkshire, where Hammered, Roman, Gold has come out. And I've got three buddies with me. But firstly, I'm going to test out my Oryx, the XP Oryx. See what we can pull out with that. So that's a tester with that. And I've got my mate, Mick, Darren and Rob. And we're all up for hammered, aren't we lads? Yeah, definitely for hammered. Now, we're not, we're, not leave, we're not leaving this field until somebody finds hammered, so it could be a while. And it's another military button. Probably the same regiment. Seventy six. I don't think it's really good. <laughs> oh, it's a little bullet. It's a bullet. Bullet end. Small calibre. Probably a 2 2 or something. All I found. Just at the moment, there's a couple of buttons and bits and bats and a bullet. So, we're trying our best with the Oryx XP, but we're on ploughed land, so that's a good sign. Beautiful place, lovely and warm. Might have to take my jacket off shortly. So, he's uh, he just gave me a couple of bits he's found. He's found a couple of buttons. Um, can we get it? Yeah, a couple of buttons. Uh, yeah, 17th century button uh, as Rob. Uh, probably early uh, uh, 20th century um, spoon handle and a few bits and bats there mate don't you and uh, you know what that is don't you is it a foot of a bottom of a yes it's a off a bottom it's, it's a foot, they call them fud faddles or fiddles or whatever anyway right. yeah, it's bottom of a, a cane that is yeah, bottom yeah, of a cane yeah, there yeah. and it could be silver it could be yeah. it could be silver that yeah, so maybe. that's doing well well done mate so carry on the good work nice one John Eighty four. I've seen that piece of oak, so Here. So we've got it in there. Still in there, but a bit of mark, what is it? It's in that one. Aha! It's a bit of silver! Yes! What is it though? Oh, cracking! I'm happy with that. Silver! With the Oryx, but what is it? 
Hey, got silver on ploughed land. I know it's not hammered, but I'm happy. Victoria, threepence, threepence. Don't know what the date is, but um, obviously I shall be cleaning up and show you later, but that's fine. Silver at least we've got today for me with the XP Oryx. Darren, uh, now he's found a few bits and bats, so we're at, we're at dinner time now, so a few bits and bats in it, Darren. Uh, what you got here, mate? You got just a few bits and pieces. Yeah, it? look at the size of that musket shell. Flat it, you, you, you won't be well. Definitely yeah. won't be well. Nice. And bag seal there. Bag seal there, hold it up there then. Bag seal. Bag seal. One coin. And um, oh, look at that pattern on that, that's nice. Yeah, isn't no, it? it's lovely, isn't it? I think it's part of a badge or something like that. Let's have a look at that. Part of a badge or something. One of them that has to literally fall back. Couldn't tell you that, without really looking. Uh, and the odd pennies and the old... Um, oh, um, lead shot. Lead shot on that. Brilliant, right, so we're off for the second half and see what we find there. Okay, right, Darren? Well done, mate, at least you found something. Let's, let's get some silvers on this platform. <laughs> That's what we came for. That's what we want. Good luck. <laughs> 91 95 Aha, it's a coin Not enough penny 71 <coughs> With the Oryx I think I've got it out. Some find out. Ninety-one. So it's in there. I think it is pistol shot. Pistol shot that. Well, we've got a bit of uh, Victorian pottery. It's nice. Nicely patterned. Just there. Uh, probably a teacup or something. Oh, probably a saucer, maybe. But yeah, nicely patterned, look. So, we're on pottery, at least. Right, we've just got... Um, Mick now, we've just found a few bits. and We're, right, we're uh, coming about three o'clock in the afternoon, aren't we now? And you've got a few bits and few coins and buttons, buttons and stuff like all this kind of stuff at the moment but not anything spectacular but that's what's come off at the moment with uh, Keep you going. so we're just going to continue now and see if we can find some hammered now aren't we, aren't we now mate oh, uh, yeah yeah that's what we're after some hammered. Yeah, jobs are good all silvers all silvers <laughs> part of a uh, spectacle buckle 17 18 century the bit's broken off at the bottom there it's uh, the fancy bit so, 16th, 17th century, spectacle buckle, part of. 56, some sort of uh, flower stud or something, brass. Not sure about, probably 18th century or something, some sort of brass. Looked like a four leaf clover stud. Well, it's at the bottom of it, thank goodness. Check it out then. Hey, another silver. Well, what do you know about that? Oh, excellent, that's two. Hee <laughs> But what is it? What is it? That's two silver. That's great. Who is it? What is it? Let's have a look. Oh, well, another silver bites the dust. And it's uh, another Victoria. And I think they call these uh, one a groat of, of, of um, I think it's a groat of Victoria. Because it's got the uh, Britannica on, not the three, the Britannica. So I think they're called groats. 
which is uh, brilliant. Uh, I'll clear you up and show you later, but that's what I think that is. But it's definitely Victoria Grow, probably. 1870 or 1880, whatever it is. Anyway, I'll clear you up and show you. Brilliant! Well, um, Rob's come up with an Ahmed, which is brilliant. Uh, what have you got there, pal? What is it? Ahmed, yeah? Yeah. Oh, like Ahmed, well yeah. done, well done. Ahmed, so Ahmed's come out. Brilliant, superb. Give the details later and tell you what, it's a bit clipped, but Ahmed is Ahmed and we like Ahmed. Don't we, Rob? We do indeed, mate. Yeah? Nothing Happy. beats the Hammer. You know, and, yeah, and I've noticed that you've got a good machine there, Rob. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's your machine, John, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I just saw the CTX. You don't let me this. For yeah. me. So, I've lent you my machine, and he's got the Ahmed. Now, I'm not jealous. No, 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 I'm not jealous. I'll let him have that, because I'm my best bud. Ah, oh, well done, <laughs>